Stonefly Creek, once bereft of coho salmon and not so long ago a nondescript ditch, is getting a riparian makeover thanks to the forestry program at Cary High Secondary. We're planting Douglas firs and red cedar and Sitka spruce and a little bit of white pine as part of the restoration of Stonefly Creek here. Uh, we're here with Greenways Land Trust and Fisheries and Oceans Canada and we're just doing this uh, to rehabilitate the creek and to make it look a lot better than it does look right now. There are 10 plugs in a bundle. There's always 10 plugs in a bundle. That's an easy map. The goal of the education program is to ultimately illustrate different career opportunities while enhancing learning in and outside of the classroom. Um, it's definitely hands-on work. I did talk to the students yesterday a lot about um, why we're doing this. Uh, even though we are working uh, in a um, riparian streams side area, a lot of the lessons that I was uh, talking to the kids about also apply for industrial forestry and for special projects where we're managing not just for uh, crop rotation, but we're managing for biodiversity around a salmon stream. It gives me a lot more um, knowing what options there are in the forest industry. It gives me a couple um, options for directions, stuff like that. I get to see a different side of it. It's not just clear cuts, falling trees. It's also the planting. It's everything. Kind of gives me a more inside look of how to like plant, like how they do tree planting and, and like, and they got it like hard. Like they come out cold weather, they got frozen ground or they're up on a slope. This is kind of like an inside peak of what they're doing. An inside peak and a glimpse into an ever-evolving industry, BC's largest natural resource. Well, it's a whole scope of forestry. In this class, we teach them about forestry. Uh, it's project-based learning as well. They get to choose projects they're interested in. And they, yeah, they get to learn about everything, the management side, the harvesting side, the planting side, and, and all the little bits in between. Forestry is a huge thing. It's not just harvesting, it's not just planting. There's so much in between, and we're trying to, trying to educate the students on that. Uh, as well as all those lifelong skills and, and experiences. Experiences like team building and making a difference. When you look back on high school, you go, I was part of the forestry program, and they can take this, and then it can also become a career for them as well. But they'll always have memories about what we did in the program because we do a number of outside field trips. So that could be just as much as being the fun of the car rider. Who got to ride with me, Mrs. B, or who had to go in the van with Mr. Curluck, right? I mean, there, it goes down as simple as that. The social aspect is just as important as the actual educational part about the forestry. see that the last year's growth is green. One tree at a time, one transformed ditch at a time. Coho was spotted in Stonefly Creek recently, so it looks like the collected efforts are paying off. In Campbell River, I'm Margie Greaves.